this video is to show you how to um, mass add benefits for employees if you do not have the benefit management option. So I am logged into Scissortail as Kathy Watts. She is the uh, director of payroll and HR for the demo company. And if she's going to be entering some new benefit profiles for a new year, the easiest way to do this as a manual process is to go to the benefit plans. So we're going to search for benefit plans and we're going to go to the one that says benefits. My in front of the breadcrumb always indicates a self-service area. So I want the one that has to do with managing employees. So I'm just going to do this one that says benefits underneath it. This will give me a listing of all of the employees with all of their benefits. And um, I want to add some new benefits that begin in 2023. Here's my spreadsheet of the employees that need to be added and the coverage levels that they selected for 2023. What I'm going to do here, because I have a listing of their employee IDs, I'm just going to do an insert column here. I'm going to put a comma in that second column. I'm going to bring that down. And so that will give us an opportunity to be able to uh, search or add multiples at once. So next, I want to highlight this uh, row that has all of the column titles on it and turn on my filters. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk my way through all of the different coverage levels that were uh, elected by our employees. So let's look at this employee only list. We have four people. I'm just going to do a control C to copy that. And that gives me the employee ID and the commas. And then I'm going to come back to Scissortail on the employee benefits screen. I'm going to say add new, click the search key, change the employee ID to say in on the filter. And then on the cell, I'm just going to paste in my selection cell and that gives me my three employees. Looks like I'm missing something, so I'm going to go to the columns because I know I had four employees. This says not equals to terminated. For some reason, I have a terminated employee that did elect. And so I'm going to remove that column and let's filter one more time. So somehow I am missing somebody. I am missing that one, one, two person. So we're going to have to come back to them probably. Let's go ahead and select the columns or select all of the rows and say apply. We're going to make this effective from 01, 01, 2023. And the benefit plan is going to be the um, dental employee only. We're going to say save. All three of our people have been added for 2023. I'm just going to say greater than or equal to. I'm going to put today's date in here just so I can see who I added. Those are the three that I added. I had that one terminated person probably terminated between the time that we ran the report and today's date. So I'm going to leave that alone for now and move on to the other groups. What I am going to do is I'm going to mark these as green. And on Jennifer, the one I didn't add, I'm going to mark her as red. Now let's go to our next selection, which is employee and family. We have one person. I'm just going to copy that ID number. Add new, paste that ID number, it brings up the employee since there's only one of them. Put in my start date, and we wanted employee plus family. Let's check that to make sure it's correct. It is. And we'll save.
Now you can see that it wanted uh, some information for those dependents that are being covered. You do have the option to leave and save without saving that information, or you could stay on that employee's record, fill in that information, and scroll to the next record to fill in additional information. And then finally, let's go back to our list. We'll set that one as green as complete. And let's go back and we'll do our waived selection. So that is 113. Add new. 113. Select the employee. The beginning date. And we want dental. Waived. This is especially important if you are adding a medical plan um, and if you have ACA coverage because you need to have uh, someone, in order for them to be offered, they have to have waived that coverage. So good luck with your benefit plans. And as always, if you have questions, contact support at cs3tech.com.